Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Overkill Global. This is Banger TV's international heavy metal review show. This week, we're heading to the Ring of Fire, where lies the island nation known as Indonesia. Made up of 13,000 islands, and it contains a massive thriving metal scene. There's no doubt that Indonesia has tons of genres and scenes to pick from, notably black metal, brutal death metal, and death metal. But this week, we are gonna focus in particular on their thriving grindcore scene. I'll be giving you my personal pick for grindcore albums. We'll have an interview with two international experts. And of course, wait around until the end for our recommendations from our Patreon donors. So what do we know about Indonesia? Well, their seventh president, who was elected in 2014, his name is Joko Widodo. And he is a proud heavy metal fan who has gone on record saying that he loves bands like Metallica, Napalm Death, Lime of God, and the like. Indonesia is home to Hammersonic Festival. That is the largest heavy metal festival in Southeast Asia. And more relevantly, they also have an annual grindcore festival. That one is called Jakarta Grindcore. Finally, it will soon be very obvious that Indonesia is crazy about grindcore. So far, Toronto director Doug Brown's documentary, Slave to the Grind, a film about grindcore, has screened in the country 29 times. If you haven't heard of that documentary, I highly recommend it. As always, we love to hear from local experts to give some context into the scene and this time we have two experts here they are hello I'm Revan uh, I'm a drummer from Raja Singa I also organize tours and shows my name is Arian Tigablas my band is called Seringai I also run a small label called Laulus Jakarta Records Grand scene in Indonesia is really emerging sometimes it's really really underground so you have to scratch and dig I think that Indonesia is very fucked up. Yeah, that very, very <laughs> corrupt country. Yeah, corrupt country, and we, it inspire <laughs> them yeah, it, to... I, everything is it. happening under our nose, like everywhere, in every aspect in our life. Yeah, there's like racism and uh, racism. color arms, uh, religious racism. It's really great, you know? Uh, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's really great for a grind band. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the fuel. <laughs> yeah, fueled for our anger. <laughs> for our anger. Some bands uh, write lyrics in English, but uh, most of them write really lyrics in Bahasa Indonesia. I think the reason they wrote uh, in Bahasa Indonesia is uh, they need to get their message straight to the yeah. Indonesian uh, audience. Audience. Some bands are more like more like comedy. Yeah. You can say comedy, and grind, you know, yeah. the funny lyrics. They and got the comedy as aspect of the yeah. grindcore, like uh, Trapi Urin. Yeah, also Mesin Tempur. Yes, Mesin Tempur. And, but also, we, ha we do have uh, Porno Grind as well. Here's yeah. like, there's this band called Radang Kelamin. Yes. And they, their lyrics are pretty much... Controversy. <laughs> yeah. My favorite uh, grindcore album for today is probably... Well, this is on my label's release, but I think they're really good. They're called Herdem, and their album is Condolence, and they are selling well as well. And they mix between uh, grindcore, hardcore, and sometimes post-rock as well. And they're really fast. This, yeah, really fast and very intense. They have like 16 songs. For me, I would recommend you. Uh, this album is a compilation album. It's a tribute to Extreme BK. Extreme BK is uh, one of the pioneer, grindcore pioneer. Yeah, here local. In, They're in from Malang. Malang, because uh, we have like 34 bands. 34 bands doing 34. Do, doing, doing 34, 34 tribute, Extreme BK songs. Extreme BK song. It's pretty good and uh, it's pretty, um, you know. Uh, it's fucking intense. Yeah, and, and really diverse. Every every band plays their own style here, so it's really good. Thank you for such a kick-ass intro into the Indonesian grindcore scene. Now, as per usual, we're gonna talk about our five picks. Just a reminder, these are not ranked by quality. It's just a good cross-section of what's available from this huge scene. The first band we are gonna talk about was formed in 1998. They were mentioned in the expert video, and they are called Extreme Decay. They have numerous splits, cassettes, albums, singles, EPs to their name. But the one that we're gonna talk about, it's from 2000. It's called Progressive Destruction and it was released by Extremist Records. This song is called Corrupt of Humanity and it's 35 seconds long. So you get to hear all of it. You 
probably realized from the 35 second song and from the sound of it, of course, that this is a band that kind of emulates the more punky, thrashy, hardcore style of early progenitor grindcore bands. When I say that, I mean bands like Siege, I mean bands like Repulsion, Gizm, and of course the early Napalm Death stuff with Mick Harris. Plus, the original version of this album has 30 songs on it. So of course, you're getting these grinding blasts of hardcore punk grindcore, and it's just all together, it's kick-ass, and the snare sounds like a goddamn trash can, which is totally appropriate for the style of punk grindcore. And all together, I'm really enjoying this release, so I'm giving it four and a half skulls out of five. Next up, I definitely wanted to talk about another early influential band, and this band goes a little bit more of the death grind route. That band is called Proletar, and they formed in 1999 in Jakarta. This band also has a bunch of EPs, comps, and in 2001, they released their only full length. That album is called Rakyat Gelata, and it came out via Badai Records. Here is the second song from the album, it's called Terror and Violence. I picked this song very specifically, and it's because it's a very short bl blast of heavy death grind. And it's because I wanted to illustrate the importance of napalm death specifically on the Indonesian grindcore scene. This sounds very much like Proletar did their own version of the napalm death cover of Dead Kennedys of the song Nazi Punk's Fuck Off, which came out on 1994's Fear, Emptiness, Despair. The Proletar song just has the words terror and violence, terror and violence, fuck off. Whereas the Napalm Death slash Dead Kennedy song is Nazi punks, Nazi punks, Nazi punks, fuck off. So I feel like that's a pretty normal assumption to be making. So I'm using this song to basically make a point about how important Napalm Death is to the Indonesian grindcore scene. And there actually is a really great feature that was written by Vice. The link is in the, in the video description, which talks about the impact in particular of 1990s Harmony Corruption. So. I encourage you to read about that and also check out how many goddamn Indonesian bands actually have Napalm Death covers because it's really quite staggering. My apologies to Proletar for not really talking about their music and instead talking about how much the country loves Napalm Death, but rest assured, Proletar makes awesome death grind and it never really strays that far from, you know, the genre's usual template. So for that reason, I'm giving them four skulls out of five. Next up, we're going to talk about a band called Raja Singa. They formed in 2004 in Badang, West Java. This band is somewhat more comically inclined, and their lyrical themes listed on Metallum are humor, marijuana, motorcycle, and everyday life. And they have three full links to their name, including their most recent album, which is called Three, released by Negra Wana in 2016. We're going to be blasting the official music video for the song Stoned Maghrib. this. It's definitely got some groove to it. And uh, dare I say that there's some stoner rock in this band's grind. Uh, it's got things in common with bands like Grieber, who I mentioned earlier, as well as Latter-day Pig Destroyer. This merging of styles is pretty cool, and the visuals in the video are quite unusual for this genre, so it puts them in pretty unique territory. Before I forget, this album has a five second long song called Matty Cow, which translates to You Die. Now, which band was it that has a 1.3 second long song called You Suffer. Oh yeah, Napalm Death. <laughs> For offering something that is outside of the regular template of grindcore, I'm giving Raja Singa four and a half skulls out of five. The next band that I am talking about is a band called Goads. They formed in 2014 in Jakarta and they have only one EP to their name. It is a grinding blast of punk fury and I am super eager to hear more from this band. This EP came out in 2015. It is called Jatakan Aku Ankaman. Here's the title track. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. 
Man, I love grindcore songs that have that neck snapping groove to them. Not very many bands really nail this in grindcore, but bands that do, like Nazem and uh, Rotten Sound in particular, and I think that this band's very promising and they got a lot of hardcore in their vibes, so I'd really like to hear some more. And because they've really intrigued me and they've also made me want to dance, they're getting four and a half skulls out of five. The final band that we are discussing for this list is a band that got together in 2002. They are Jakarta-based death grind band Noxa. And they have three full lengths and two EPs to their name, and that includes their 2018 EP called Propaganda, released via Black Enjai Records. Let's listen to the opening and title track. <laughs> instantly hear that this band has one foot firmly placed in the hardcore world. This song in particular has lots of chugging, it's got that, you know, dancey groove, and other songs on the album, you're definitely gonna hear a variance in vocals. There's a more high register kind of shrieky one and then the gruff lower one. And altogether, this album's decent, but it closes with a kind of jokey song, and yes, that's part of the band's vibe. I don't really care for it because it's like children's choir singing about Old MacDonald and it kind of like makes my head hurt. But other than that, it's a pretty good EP. I enjoy the band, it's cool. And uh, I'm giving this EP three and a half skulls out of five. So what did we learn? Well, to be honest, I learned the most from this scene report above all other scene reports because I have not listened to Indonesian grindcore at all. And I am blown away by the sheer volume, quality, and just, amount of information about Indonesian heavy metal that's not really reaching Canadian North American shores. I've linked tons of articles in the video description that I highly encourage you guys to read because honestly, it's really fascinating doing a deep dive into a scene that you didn't even know existed. Now for the honorable mentions as chosen by the Patreon donors poll. The first one is Dead Vertical. The album is called Parang Naraka Bumai. Another honorable mention goes to a band that we did discuss. It is Rajasinga and their 2007 album, Pandora. And finally, the last honorable mention goes to a band called Trench Horror and their album, Rakan Coda Capitalitis. Thanks everyone for watching and please tell us, not the bands that we missed, because obviously there's literally hundreds more we could have talked about, but talk about your favorite Indonesian grindcore band in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bring out that of the grave Fight those who enslave You live the game Ship or death Take it to our grave